Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and today's video I'm going to be sort of reviewing but mostly doing a makeup tutorial on the Morphe Jaclyn Hill collab makeup palette. I absolutely think this palette is beautiful. It's got some gorgeous shades in it but this has already been a video that is done a couple times all over the internet so I will keep this brief. If you guys would like to see how I achieved this really beautiful smoky halo eye with some nice big lashes, then please keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to be starting off with is my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Like always, all over the lid, I'm going to be doing that on the top and underneath of my eyelid to begin. So unfortunately, the Jaclyn Hill palette does not have just a matte skin tone color that I can put all over my lid to set it and prevent creasing. So I'm just going to be hopping into my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, and I'm going to be using the color Ludwin, which you can clearly see is well loved by me, and I'm just going to be setting that from my brow bone down to the underneath of my eye. And for this, I'm just using a nice big fluffy Morphe eyeshadow brush. So here we have the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, which is what we're going to be using today. For convenience sake in this video, I have already just taped up the little uh, name guide to the back of the palette so I can tell you exactly what shadows I'm using while I am using them and I just find that to be the most convenient for educational purposes. Um, it does make me a little sad that this palette is so big and doesn't have a mirror in it but life will go on. So on a big fluffy Morphe brush I'm just going to be taking a little bit of the color Silk Cream, tapping off the excess and running that through the crease of my eye. And don't be afraid to blend it quite high towards the brow because I like a nice blown out smoky eye as always. To add a little bit of depth to that, I'm going to add a little bit of the color Butter to that same brush and place that further into my crease, blending up as well. These are still our transition shades, so you don't have to be as precise as to where they're going. I'm even going to take a little bit of the color Creamsicle, which is more of a yellowy orange, and I'm going to pop that just in the outer and inner corner of the eye, just to create a little bit of warmth. What that's going to do is it's going to help blend out our halo eye once we start adding in those dark colors. On a Morphe pencil brush, I'm going to be picking up the color Jax, tapping off my brush and basically beginning my halo eye. And I'm going to be placing this in the inner corner of the eye, stopping that right as you get close to the pupil. You don't want to go any farther than the pupil when doing a halo eye, just to avoid it uh, moving the highlight around. You want the highlight to sit right exactly above your pupil or else it just kind of looks wonky. And then I'm going to be placing more of that color Jax on the outer corner, once again not going in any farther than the edge of that pupil. Taking a little bit more of Jax on a fluffy Morphe brush, I'm just going to start buffing this into that crease and diffusing the color slightly. The best halo eyes that I do, I find, are the ones where I layer a lot to create a nice gradation of color. So you can see I'm already starting to build that up very well. Picking up a little bit more of Jax, I'm just going to repeat those steps, popping this into the inner and outermost corners of the eye. These shadows blend out really beautifully. I have no complaints so far. My only Concern is fallout, but that's kind of natural when you're working with such soft buttery mattes. And I'm taking whatever's residual from blending out the color jacks and I'm taking it up into the crease and blending it quite high towards the brow. I'm trying to keep this in a more rounded shape, but still accentuating my eye. As you can see, this one's still slightly winged out. Picking up a little bit of the color Chip, I'm going to add that into the inner and outermost corners as well. And Chip is a darker, more fudgy brown, and that's going to create more depth. Taking that same blending brush that we've been using and just popping that in as well. 
Now is the point where you start looking back and forth between each eye and seeing the amount of definition and seeing how much more you want. I'm going to blend those colors up towards the brow just a little bit more. Picking up an even fluffier Morphe blending brush, I'm just going to diffuse those edges. And if you feel at any point that you go overboard, you can just sort of wipe around it with your finger or with your foundation brush, whatever you prefer. I just like it to look really blown out. I think it flatters my eye shape the best. Putting on another layer of chip, I'm just going to focus that more into the crease and into that very inner corner. Really not being afraid of packing on this shadow to create maximum depth. For more precision blending, I'm picking up my Sigma E45 Small Tapered Blending Brush, and I'm just going to go along the edges of where I have Chip and Jacks and blend those in even more. At this stage, I actually want to add in my shiny halo, so I'm going to use a little bit of my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray and spray a short shader brush. This one is from Morphe. And I am picking up a mixture of the colors Sissy and Little Lady. They're both shimmery pink colors. I'm going to be applying that to the very middle of our halo eye. And I put this up quite far just because when I have my eye open, I want to be able to see that nice shine. Just like that. So you guys can see all of that shine there. And then just slightly going towards the edges into the colors Chip and Jax. The Sigma E45 that I was just using, I'm going to dip into Jax and Chip equally, tap off the excess, and basically buff back out into our halo color. And also going through the crease with this, because as much as we want to see this nice bright color on the center of the lid, we also want to see, as our eyes are closed, that nice crease smoke. Taking a Real Techniques angled brush, I'm going to be dipping into the shade Cran Apple and running that underneath my lower lash line, just at the edge. Connecting up with those colors in our halo eye. Now I'm going to be grabbing some of the shade Royalty and mixing that in. Going quite low underneath the eye, going all around the eye. Now with a mixture of both Royalty and Cran Apple, I'm going to smoke this quite low under the eye. Now with the MAC 217, I'm taking a little bit more of that color Jax that we used to build up our halo eye, and I'm going to be running that underneath Royalty and Cran Apple. And this is just to create a blended out smoke and some continuity to tie it in with the top. Now giving my lashes a nice quick curl, I'm going to apply my e.l.f. lengthening and defining mascara to both the top and bottom lashes, and then we can do false lashes together. As you can see, the lashes I'm going to be using today are the Rouge & Rouge Noctura Lash. I love these lashes specifically for a nice smoky halo eye because they taper and are quite thick at the base, but then fan out to really accentuate the natural shape of my eye look. And I'm going to put these on and be right back with you. Alright, lashes are on. The final touch is going to be my inner corner highlight. And for that, I'm going to be picking up the color Beam from the palette and popping that into the inner corner of my eye. And this is the completed eye look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial with me using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I think this palette is absolutely beautiful. It seems like a great palette to have for traveling. You just have so many options with so many different looks. You can do something very neutral. You can do a warm smoky eye, something nice and colorful from those bright blues and the purple. You can really just play around and have fun. I think if you can get this at the $38 price point from Morphe, it is definitely worth the money. The Morphe shadows are definitely behaving a lot differently than the ones that I have in other palettes, but I prefer the formulation of the Jaclyn Hill palette. I think that they're but more buttery, I think that they have a little bit less fallout, definitely more pigmented, and they're definitely a lot more uh, pleasing to work with. They blend out just so beautifully. 
So if you guys enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below your favorite way to use this palette or if there are any other palettes that you'd love to see me talk about and do a tutorial for. You know, I enjoy doing that for you guys the absolute most. Please don't forget to check out my social media links in the down bar and I will speak to you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Bye!